You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Leviticus chapter 21. And we'll be reading from the Christian Standard Bible. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron's sons, the priests, and tell them, A priest is not to make himself ceremonially unclean for a dead person among his relatives, except for his immediate family, his mother, father, son, daughter, or brother. He may make himself unclean for his unmarried virgin sister in his immediate family. He is not to make himself unclean for those related to him by marriage and so defile himself. Priests may not make bald spots on their heads, shave the edge of their beards, or make gashes on their bodies. They are to be holy to their God and not profane the name of their God, for they present the fire offerings to the Lord, the food of their God, and they must be holy. They are not to marry a woman defiled by prostitution. They are not to marry one divorced by her husband, for the priest is holy to his God. You are to consider him holy since he presents the food of your God. He will be holy to you because I, the Lord, who sets you apart, am holy. If a priest's daughter defiles herself by promiscuity, she defiles her father. She must be burned to death. The priest who is highest among his brothers, who has had the anointing oil poured on his head and has been ordained to wear the clothes, must not dishevel his hair or tear his clothes. He must not go near any dead person or make himself unclean even for his father or mother. He must not leave the sanctuary or he will desecrate the sanctuary of his God. For the consecration of the anointing oil of his God is on him. I am the Lord. He is to marry a woman who is a virgin. He is not to marry a widow, a divorced woman, or one defiled by prostitution. He is to marry a virgin from his own people, so that he does not corrupt his bloodline among his people. For I am the Lord who sets him apart. The Lord spoke to Moses, Tell Aaron, none of your descendants throughout your generations who has a physical defect is to come near to present the food of his God. No man who has any defect is to come near. No man who is blind, lame, facially disfigured, or deformed. No man who has a broken foot or hand, or who is a hunchback or a dwarf, or who has an eye defect a festering rash, scabs, or a crushed testicle. No descendant of the priest Aaron who has a defect is to come near to present the fire offerings to the Lord. He has a defect and is not to come near to present the food of his God. He may eat the food of his God from what is especially holy as well as from what is holy. But because he has a defect, he must not go near the curtain or approach the altar. He is not to desecrate my holy places, for I am the Lord who sets them apart. Moses said this to Aaron and his sons, and to all the Israelites. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege that it is to be able to read it together today. And Lord, as we read this portion of Scripture, it's very interesting to read the fact that these defects disqualified some men from priestly service. And Lord, when we look through this list, I'm sure many of us can look at this list and see different things that we have been afflicted with. And we can't help but wonder if, in some sense, that disqualifies us. We even see this in the book of Acts when the Ethiopian eunuch is speaking to Philip and Philip tells him that he can be saved, that he can be rescued, that he can be redeemed through faith in Jesus Christ. And with joy, that eunuch trusts in Christ and is baptized. But it's fascinating to think that that eunuch would not have qualified for the kind of service that is spoken of in this portion of Scripture because of the way in which his body was altered. 
But we're grateful, Father, for the fact that under the new covenant, you make us a new creation in your Son, Jesus Christ. And you tell us that through faith in your Son, the high priest of our faith, we likewise become a kingdom of priests. Whether we have physical defects or not, we are a new creation in your Son. We have been born again through Jesus Christ. We are made brand new. And you don't see us for our physical limitations. You see us as holy and blameless in your sight through Jesus Christ. So we're grateful for that reality, and we're grateful for that blessing. And we're grateful to be able to realize that that was your ultimate plan, even when we look at a portion of Scripture like this. You use a portion of Scripture like this to show us that, naturally speaking, we can't earn your favor. We can't be good enough or perfect enough to receive it. But through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, by your grace, we are granted new life. You make us complete. You make us whole. You welcome us joyfully into your family forever. Thank you for this blessing, and thank you for these reminders as we look at your word together today. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for listening to this episode of the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. Don't forget, we also have a sister podcast called The Informal Bible Study, where we study the scriptures in depth in a casual and applicational way. New episodes of The Informal Bible Study go live every Monday, so be sure to check it out and subscribe through your favorite podcast player. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.